so uh, this is it this is probably the last video that I'll uh, I'm making before paper one tomorrow onwards inshallah we'll start paper two but yeah uh, tomorrow you all will be sitting for your first math exam and I really hope you guys are well prepared for it now regardless of how well prepared you are there will always be that that uh, feeling of anxiety that fear of the unknown and that's that's normal okay so if you're going through that if anyone whoever is watching this is going through that you know if you're if you're getting the anxiety or if you're feeling nervous that's normal okay the sooner you get used to feeling that the better it is for you okay i don't think there's anyone at this point who's not feeling nervous at all okay yes some may be feeling more nervous than the other but you know it's it's completely normal to feel to have that nervousness okay the fear of the unknown is of course there so in this video i'm 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 just going to divide this into three to four parts one would be the general stuff the pre-exam the during exam and then the post exam so a lot of things that i'll be saying in this video you probably heard me uh say that multiple times but you know just as a refresher i thought i'll just uh, go over it again so if you're if you're watching if you're still watching this video uh pause the video and just make sure that you have the complete stationery you know a uh, pencil razor sharpener pen compass protractor ruler and everything you know just just make sure that you have all of that your statement of entry your id card whatever it is make sure you have all of that ready with you in one place okay so that there are no unnecessary delays number two uh at this point it's best that you just spend time with yourself only do not you know stay away from people who are extremely positive at this point you know unnecessarily positive and also people who are unnecessarily negative you know you you may come across people who you know who might try and scare you that oh this is so difficult this topic is so difficult i don't know anything about this i'm failing or anything like that stay away from such people okay just leave them to it what what's important right now is how you're feeling not how anyone else is feeling and uh, do not do anything that's out of your routine okay whatever it is that you do make sure that it's part of your routine now is not the time to experiment with your mind with your body or anything like that just just stay in routine and a uh, uh, couple of things that you guys have been asking asking throughout is the threshold the difficulty level now this is this isn't something that you guys need to worry about what you need to worry about is how i mean just just focus on your own preparation okay there will always be some variables that you can control some you can't okay what you can control is what you could have controlled throughout uh, was how well prepared you are okay that's something that i'm sure we all have worked on but you can't control what's going to come tomorrow well, what topic or what will be the difficulty level in tomorrow's exam okay so that is one thing you cannot control so do not worry about that okay what you can control is like i said that um, things that are up to you make sure that you get good enough sleep okay a good night's sleep is very important especially those students who have an accounting exam tomorrow also and even if you don't have an accounting exam tomorrow it's still important for you to get a good good night sleep you know math is not a theoretical subject that you can retain a certain amount of information and then just reproduce it and then you know completely forget about it you need a fully functioning brain a lot of times what happens is that we're familiar with the concept we know everything required in the question uh, for us to be able to solve it but we're not unable to solve it not because we like i said not because we don't know the concept but it's just because we don't have a functioning brain at that point okay so it's very important to get a good sleep now uh you will probably be watching this video at like around 8 i'll publish this around 8:30 so at that then uh make sure by then you have tested yourself in this in the sense that by then make sure that whatever it is that you had to do you've done it do not try and attempt a past paper do not put yourself in a testing position do not test yourself in any shape or form okay whatever preparation that you had to do you've already done it and now is not the time to test yourself you don't want to enter into a panic attack okay and that'll just ruin your whole preparation that'll just ruin everything that you already know okay rather than that uh, i mean uh, what what you what you can do instead is you can just go over the notes the formulas the videos that uh, i've made and uh, i've posted a couple of notes uh, lately on my instagram so you can check those out i'll leave a link to my instagram below and uh, i made a video recently about the important topics of p1 paper 1 so you can just go over the video and make sure that all the concepts that are in those topics in the important topics you can just go over the notes of those concepts okay this is the max that you should be doing rather than you know just solving questions and attempting yearly past papers that's not something i or anyone at this point would encourage you to do that okay uh then during exam okay so during exam make sure that you're keeping track of time very very important okay no need to look here and there no need to see who's doing what just focus on your own exam and that's it and uh 
it's it's best that you start off with questions that you already know you know concepts that you're already aware of uh, i made a video as to um, how to attempt the papers so make sure that you do the easy questions first take some time out and mark all the easier questions what that'll do is that'll give you a confidence boost and once that is done once you get a confidence boost when you come to questions that are relatively difficult you know you'll be far more confident in approaching them and then if you're unsure about something uh, do it in pencil first but again that does not mean that you have to do the entire paper in pencil and then pen it out you won't have time for that but anything that's um, related to graph curve sketching transformation statistics where you have to make a histogram or cumulative frequency whatever do that in pencil okay it's and no need to pen that out later either okay graphs are something that you should do in pencil only uh, another thing regarding tracing paper getting a lot of questions about that so i i said this before i'll say it again tracing paper officially is allowed so you can take it and you can uh, if the invigilator says it's not allowed or has a problem with it well you can tell him or her that it says on the question paper that you may use a tracing paper still if they have an objection to it well then whatever method whatever it is that you are doing with the help of a tracing paper make sure that you have a plan b also and normally we're talking about rotation and uh, rotation symmetry here so there are alternate ways to do that i recently posted a video go check it out you'll know how to do rotational symmetry without the help of a tracing paper okay and uh, if you have a tendency of making silly errors i get this question a lot that how should i avoid silly errors well if you have a tendency for that then the best way to avoid silly errors is to be conscious of what you're doing okay keep reminding yourself that you have a tendency of making silly errors and just keep checking your answers as you go along rather than checking it towards the end okay who knows you may not have time for that and then uh, read the instructions carefully highlight the important words like for example maybe a key value where it's the scale factor or maybe rotation where it's uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise and maybe you know when the question says inside outside you know stuff like that so make sure that you read the question carefully and underline or highlight whatever is important in the question cost price upper bound lower bound you know these keywords make sure you highlight them so that you are constantly aware of what it is that you have to find and read the instructions carefully as always uh, sometimes you have to simplify sometimes the question is asking you to give the answer as a mixed number you know stuff like that so make sure to read the instructions carefully okay not reading the instructions and getting an answer wrong is not a legit excuse okay uh, we're all we're all grown-ups here so it's important that we make a habit of reading the instructions carefully now post exam okay now this is something that's very important since uh, you're not this is not the last exam obviously we have paper two and then we have uh, i mean i'm sure you guys have a lot of exams that are left so post exam it's best not to discuss your paper with anyone okay Okay. why that's just going to bring you down unnecessarily if god forbid you haven't done you've done a few questions wrong okay i mean let's face it there is a possibility that you may not do everything right you may get a couple of questions wrong so if you discuss those questions with anyone well that's just going to demotivate you okay so it's best not to discuss it with anyone uh what you can do is what i would like to you to do is you can reach out to me and let me know how it goes okay in fact that's something i'll be um really looking forward to okay i'll, I'll be looking forward to um hearing from you guys all the topics that came and how it went and hopefully the videos will inshallah will uh, help you guys in um, getting a good grade and then uh, last but not the least remember me and all your teachers whoever has helped you get till here remember all of them in your prayers and pray for yourself also you know have faith have trust in yourself if you've worked hard then it's very important that you trust yourself trust in all the effort that you've put so far okay trust in your capabilities be confident having said that yes feeling nervous at this point is completely normal but still try and be confident as much as you can and yeah that's that's about it so that's it i'll see you guys in the next video and i'll i'll be waiting to hear from you guys about how the exam went okay so take care everyone bye bye love is